My name is Janice Musselwhite and I have been with the firm for over 15 years and work closely with our individual and institutional clients. At Gabelli, we are fundamental bottom-up value investors who build portfolios for our clients one company at a time. What makes our firm different is our hyper-focus on research and evaluating all of our investments through our proprietary PMV plus Catalyst lens, which Mario Gabelli is credited with adding to the value investing methodology. Our investment process focuses on companies trading at a discount to PMV, our estimate of intrinsic value. We prefer cash generating franchise businesses that can command pricing power over time. We look for solid management and resilient balance sheets. Our focus on these characteristics has led us to certain sectors and industries in which our firm has accumulated deep compounded knowledge over many decades. We have a core competency in the sectors, um, certain sectors including consumer staples, consumer discretionary, industrials, communications, and utilities. Because of this emphasis, our flagship value portfolios look quite different from an index, which is how we've been able to add significant value over time. While we perform bottom-up fundamental research on individual companies, we also take a step back to identify themes that may provide fertile ground for investments over the long term. As an example, we have maintained a strong focus on media investments since the firm's inception in 1977 and originating from Mario Gabelli's focus on cable companies when he started his career as an analyst. <clears throat> Infrastructure has been a core competency and thematic focus for our research team for three decades as we recognize the imminent need to shore up on the country's roads, bridges, and airports. This includes investments in bridges, toll roads, airports, pipelines, utility towers, and educational and healthcare facilities. More recently, we have looked at opportunities in live entertainment and experiences as consumer preferences, particularly among millennials, have shifted to paying for experiences instead of things. We have also examined opportunities in health and wellness in the food and beverage industry and also in companies focused in the companion pet market with an eye on consumers changing preferences and willingness to pay for these items. We also believe that the issue of sustainability will be the greatest global challenge facing companies in coming years. The firm's analysts are evaluating the issues, changes, and implications that companies will face as the world's population grows to nearly 10 billion people by 2050 who will need more than 50% more food, 45% more energy, and over 30% more water, while over 50% of the population is expected to face water stress by that time. Companies that successfully address these challenges and adapt to conserve resources may sustain greater long-term profitability and deliver superior returns.